In this video tutorial, I want to talk about uh, Contour and how you can use it to produce uh, such a model. So I'm going to explain how you're going to use the Rhino commands to produce the surface, the solid, and eventually I'm going to go into the Grasshopper uh, canvas and use the Contour and explain how you can use it to produce uh, this model. <laughs> So first of all, uh, let me just set the grids on so we can see the grids. Uh, we can start with the surface, uh, a rectangular surface from the surface tools and here we go, have rectangle surface and this is the surface I'm going to work on and then I'm going to rotate that to uh, produce uh, the facade of that uh, contoured model. So uh, I'm going to uh, make a copy of this surface by having gumball on and moving this by uh, holding the alt key and moving okay and uh, now i'm going to rebuild this surface to have more than uh, two and two uv curves so i'm going to give it 30 and 30 and now i'm going to deform this surface so i'm going to use soft move i'm going to draw a curve so maybe this curve and move this curve up so let me just move this surface okay uh, when we have the curve on the surface we can uh, uh, turn the points on so we have all the uh, control points on i'm going to select all the control points except of the curve and use the soft move tool so basically soft move can uh, produce a soft move on uh, control points or whatever you want but the best is to use the control points so I'm going to use soft move and go for the curves uh, option with go the curves select the curve and OK and give this a radius so uh, you can change that later so I'm going to give this a radius a height and uh, you can see that you can change the radius later you can change the height and you can also change the distribution okay and now I'm going to turn the points off and here we go we have two surfaces now and we, we want to make a solid so we can have uh, solid operations uh, later on so I'm going to uh, choose both of these surfaces and use dup uh, border or duplicated border so I have both of the borders now and use loft to connect the borders together and we have the seam closed and now we can just join those surfaces and have the solid okay now I'm going to move this uh, solid and ret rotate it 90 degrees so it's just going up let's move this to the zero and now we can just uh, make an opening here in the facade so I'm going to use a box simple box here and just let's go to the boolean and we have the uh, boolean difference and we can just make a difference between these two solids so I'm going to choose this just that and here we go we have absolute solid here and now we can go and work on this solid so uh, I'm going to go to the params menu and choose the brep tool let's have the bifocals here okay let's set this to the solid turn this off and now we can just have the sections by going to the intersect mathematical basically contour is a mathematical operation because it uses infinity uh, infinite planes to section the solid. So I'm going to use the contour here, or you can just search for C O N T, and we have the contour curve and the contour shape of the solid. And now we can give the shape to this. Uh, you can define a point uh, for from which you want to define the uh, sectioning. So I can uh, just turn this on and put a point exactly at the start let's just give a point here and set this point 
to the end and give the point to the start of the uh, contrast sectioning and the direction will be the x direction the distance between the sections will be maybe something like 12 and I'm going to decrease it so we have more sections and here we go okay I'm going to turn everything off except the contour sections and now we can produce the solid easily uh, we'll connect the surface to these contours and uh, maybe extrude them extrude them in the x direction and the x direction will be uh, if you give exactly 3.24 to the uh, extrusion you can see that the result will be just uh, this it's just fitted sections but uh, let's decrease that okay uh, to something maybe 1.25 and you can see and that's a better one for designing designing the parametric facade and now I'm going to bake this and and it's done that's easily done you can also work with this surface uh, parametrically you can deform it with a parametric curve on the surface use the uh, attractor techniques but uh, basically this is a small tutorial so you can understand uh, how to use the contours uh, tool it uses the shape it starts from the point it has a direction and uses the distance so you will have the results and uh, you can easily uh, make the surface if you want to have uh, okay let me show you if you want to have if you want uh, if you want the surfaces uh, from the contour you have to use it for a solid because if you uh, section a solid you will always have a closed curve and when you have a closed curve you have a surface closed surface and then you can easily have a solid uh, for the results and uh, it will all everything will uh, work so uh, this tutorial just uh, was just a small uh, small one on the contour uh, thank you for watching if you have any questions or if you have any comments uh, feel free to put underneath this video and subscribe to the channel. We will put uh, two or three videos each week and uh, we will also put uh, some showreel videos to show you how you can use Grasshopper to produce uh, models easily and quickly in just a minute, in one minute. And we will add those uh, to the tutorials and to the command section and to the showreel command uh, showreel grasshopper showreel section playlist and you can watch it there thank you for watching